heard these words before, but I'll teach you what they really mean! Go beyond! Plus! Hello beautiful people, my name is Rare Ultra, and welcome back to Nier Automata. Now in the last episode of Nier Automata, we found 11B as well as getting our sword back from the prologue, and we were told that we need to go to the uh, desert. Actually, I think we were told that like the episode before. I, I, we were told we need to go to the desert. I don't remember exactly when we were told that, but we were told that. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's go to the desert. We've done all the side quests that are currently available, and that's probably what I'm going to do, like do side quests when I can, um, because I like doing side quests. All right, so we're back in the ruins here, and we need to head toward, I'm assuming we need to head toward that red marker. Map mode. This seems to be, yeah, that seems to be where we need to go. So that's where we're gonna head. Not entirely sure exactly how we're meant to get there. What is this? Question marks. Um, we're gonna figure out how to get there, but that's where we need to go. So let's head that way. The Council of Humanity has a message for all of our brave androids fighting on the surface. Currently, our struggle against the machine life forms is at a stalemate. This battle has raged for far too long. I am sure all of you find the effort grueling. But now is not the time to give up. Now, more than ever, we must forge on. Remember that several hundred thousand humans on the moon want nothing more than to return to Earth. Glory to mankind. Those council broadcasts are always so stiff. Huh. Report. Mail notification received from access point. So that just kind of happened as soon as we got to the desert. I'm going to go check this mail real quick. I'll get back to you guys once we once we reach our destination. So it looks like we've reached our destination. You probably noticed this in the last clip, but I changed my uh, little robot thing to a grimoire because I found that. And I was like, that's awesome. I love it. I'm going to use that. Hey, our leader told me all about you. Oh, Name's yeah? Jackass. Nice to meet you. That's a name, I all right. You're planning to take out all the machines in the desert? Guess that means we need to get that entrance open. Sounds like Looks it. Looks like it. So, um, Jack Ass, was it? <laughs> uh, what are you doing all the way out here? Hmm? Oh, that? Well. Well. Wouldn't want to have anyone getting tangled up in that, now would we? Don't go trying to be a hero, all right? Okay. Uh What the heck was that exactly? Who opens a sealed gate with explosives? There's got to be an easier way, right? Uh who's to say? Maybe there wasn't an easier way. Pretty. In the way the desert is. Not very pretty. Okay, it's a desert. Deserts aren't meant to be pretty, though. We. Uh, this sand sure is slippery. Yeah, I guess it is. Careful. We've got enemies approaching. We do. That sounds like fun. Where are they? Oh, there they are. These machines are talking. Yeah, I've heard from the resistance that they've been seeing this a lot lately. Couldn't tell you why, though. They're speaking. They speak language. Let's 
Slide, 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 slide. This is kind of fun. Uh, let me just check the map real quick. Okay, so, yeah, okay. We're just clearing out a big circle. Yeah. Think they even understand the concept of being scared? I mean, you're an android. Do you understand the concept of being scared? That really hurt. Like a lot. Alright, stop showing me that because I'm trying to clear the enemies in the local area. I'm trying to clear the enemies and you're just like, mm, look at this machine that's probably being jammed by enemies in the local area. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to kill them. Please stop. thing when I was going through some old data. It looks like what humans used to wear long ago. Certain human collectives used to use face paint like that too. So there's maybe more to this than we understand from the sound of it. Because what they're saying, what it seems like they're saying is these robots are acting differently. These machines are acting differently than normal machines. And they're taking inspiration from human, like, attire and culture. Which is interesting because, okay. Ah, oh, those things explode. Those things explode. Those things explode. So I'm guessing, like, from what from what they're saying, like, machines don't normally do this. They're not normally... They don't normally act this way. But these machines are. Which makes them unusual. Because from what I understood, like, the information that they give you in the beginning is that the androids are here because the machines were sent as an alien invasion to destroy humanity... The androids were created for the purposes of saving humanity. A lot of the humans were destroyed in the initial invasion. But... To be, it's fine. Their speech doesn't mean anything. They're just emitting words at random. If they wanted help, why would they be attacking us? Yeah. But, like, apparently, uh, some humans managed to escape to the moon, and the humans on the moon created the, uh, androids to destroy the machines, so that way they could return to Earth eventually. But this almost seems like it contradicts that idea. I mean, I guess not necessarily. The mo the machines could, in some ways, be like influenced by the human civilization. But the thing that makes no sense to me in this particular situation is that it makes it seem like the humans were more advanced than the aliens. Which is weird, because if the aliens would have sent out an invasion force, I feel like 
the likes of 2B and 9S would be more likely to be seen rather than these machines that supposedly can't even speak. Like, not much of an invasion force for a civilized, for like, uh, what should have been a more, much more civilized or more, uh, developed, I guess. Not civilized necessarily, but more developed. He ran away. It's heading for that rocky area. Individual target ID marked. But um for a civilization that was supposed to be more advanced and thereby <laughs> using machines to destroy Earth, it just doesn't really make a lot of sense in the grand scheme of things. Something about it isn't right. Desert housing. What's that? Analysis. It is the ruin of a former human residential area. Large numbers of humans resided in such concrete and metal shelters. The structures were referred to by names such as apartment complex. That's fair. That's that's, that's fair. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Okay, well, I'm not near an access point right now, so I'm not going to worry about that at this exact moment. We're aiming for our enemy. Well, there's an access point right there, so I guess we'll go find out what this mail is. Oh, that thing was still alive. Let's see what. Operator 60. Jupiter's Fortunes. 2B. Have you heard of Jupiter's Fortune? Jupiter Fortune Telling? It's all the girls over in R&D have been talking about lately. They say you can examine the color and shape of Jupiter's great red spot to learn about what kind of luck you'll have with health, work, and love. Sounds amazing, right? I'll try it and let you know what I find out. Okay, 6 -0. You are a character. I like 6 -0. All right, I can't go that way. But it seems like this is the direction I'm supposed to head. There must be an opening here somewhere. On top of that building, maybe? Is there a way for me to get on top of that building? No. So how am I supposed to get over there? It shows an opening like right here on the map, but no way for me to get to that opening. All right, let's go this way then. No, we're not people. Well, 2B and 9S aren't. I'm people. Alright, so I can't get up there that way. Can I go through here? Okay, yeah, I can go through here. He's still running. Target confirmed. Let's get him. Ah, he ran away again. Hello, how are you? Nice weather today? I mean... It's a desert, so... Nice is... Kind of a... I guess it's a, it's a point of interest. Androids are scary. Scary, so kill. Interesting.
Okay, then. This is, uh... You are false. So Nines said that their their words have no meaning. I don't think that's true. I think, I think. Oh, uh, I think it's kind of gigantic and terrifying. I think there's more to this story than we know. Oh, that hurt. Maybe I should not get that close to it. Oh, that looks fun. Oh, I see. So... Yep. So it was possible to break different parts of it. Uh, it exploded. It exploded. But this still isn't what we were. That still isn't what we were looking for, right? That wasn't the dude we're chasing. Oh, he's running the wrong way. That would have been an, a prime opportunity to catch him. I wonder what makes them choose these words. Because he's running. What do you mean? What makes them choose these words? He's saying he's running away because he's scared. I don't understand what part of that is confusing. These are android bodies. Hypothesis. They were killed by local machine life forms. What are they doing here? Unknown. It's like they were gathered here. It does seem that way. What? That's weird. There it goes. They don't give up. Run. Run. See? Must run. What he's saying makes sense. It's not. It's definitely not random words. He's saying things that make perfect sense for the action. Like multiple machines detected ahead. But what's with these android bodies? Stay focused. That's a good question, though. I mean, I get where you're coming from, Tubi. Stay focused. Gotta, gotta complete the mission. But seriously, that hurt. What's with the android bodies? There's so many of them. Child. 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 What is this? My love. My don't listen to them, to me. What the hell? Forever. Together forever. Carry me. Carry me. They don't have any feelings. They're just imitating human speech. Let's take them out. What in the world? Wow, there are a lot of them. 
Yeah, I'm gonna die. This cannot continue. 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 Oh my gosh. That's a good question. What's going on? Oh, this looks fun. Uh. An android? No. What? This. This is a machine. Looks like an android to me. Warning. So the music has become them saying this cannot continue. That's so cool. It leveled up. Because apparently they were told to. It's leveling up. He's learning. We better finish this quick. Oh. He's learning. He's up there. No, I'm doing. I'm hitting him. It's just not doing much damage. Wow, that hurt. I'm gonna die at this rate. They're still saying this cannot continue. I tried to dodge that, but it didn't happen. Hit him with a laser. Ah. Man, this dude's tough. And I'm running out of small recoveries. It doesn't help that 9S is continuously hitting him with bullets at times that he really shouldn't be. Ow. I'm down to one small recovery remaining. Well, he's bleeding. That was interesting. Is this... Machine? Huh? 
What in the world is going on here? Damn it, not another one. To be, we gotta get out of here. The heck? Come on, through that hole. Oh, now I'm in an escape scene. Of course I am. I just got an achievement. Like it's a healthy now. baby boy. What, what the hell just happened? That is I a know. very good question. I've never seen a machine like that before. We better report this to command. Okay, this is good. We should be able to reach command here. 9S to bunker. Do you copy? I read you, 9S. Go ahead. Operator, we, uh, we just encountered a pair of humanoid machines. We weren't able to capture them. But I have combat data ready for upload. Understood. Ready to receive. Hopefully you can get something out of it. Well, that was very interesting. Um, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Join me next time, where we're going to find out hopefully more about this. Uh, about this new breed of machine, apparently. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Later.